Software Spring Presence How to use the average in Google Sheets Hello folks! Greetings! Welcome to the tutorial on the dAverage function. Here is an introduction to dAverage. The D in the dAverage stands for database. dAverage returns the average value, from the specified field of a database, for the specified criteria. Alright, here is the format of the dAverage function. Let's look at an example. Database is the array, or range, which has the data. Field is a column number or name, and has the values, whose average you want to calculate. Criteria is the array or range, with one or more conditions. The function returns the average, only if the criteria is fulfilled. Going forward, here is the objective to use the dAverage function. To get the average score of a student, from the three mock tests. First, let's create the criteria range, and specify the criterion. A key point to note is the criteria range, should have the same labels as the database. Alright, I will copy and paste these labels, here. Ok, we are now all set to specify the conditions. Say, we want to get the average score in science of this student ID. Below the student ID field, type equal to, and click this cell, to store its address. Now, let's also create an output area. This step is optional. I will simply copy and paste these labels again, here, and give an output title. Because I want this value to be stored in this cell also, I will type equal to, and click this cell. The advantage of typing the address of this cell, in this cell is, if you change this data, it will get automatically updated here. Let's type the dAverage formula in this cell, as we want the average score in science. First, type equal to, D, A, V. Select the average from the menu. For the database, select this range. Type comma. For the field, type 2, because 2 is the column number with the science score. Type comma. For the criteria, select this range. Press Enter. OK, the average has returned the average score in science, of this student ID. What's the easiest way to find the average score in the other subjects? Simply copy the formula in this cell, to these cells. However, you need to make two changes before you copy. First, lock the address of the database, and criteria range, by making them absolute. Otherwise, the address will change, when you copy the formula from one cell to another. Ok, let's go ahead and make the addresses absolute. Click this cell. Click before the letter A, and press F4. Click before the letter G, press F4, and press Enter. What is the second change we should make? After you copy the formula to each of these cells, change the column number. Alright, first let's copy the formula. We are now ready to change the column number.
There you go. The average has returned the average. If you want the average scores for this student ID, all you need to do is change the ID here. Okay, the D average function instantly return the averages. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.